it's Mareska from Design by Mareska and today I'm here with a very talented artist Nada Alvarazi. Hi Nada. Hi Mariska. thank you for interviewing me today. Well thank you so much for having us and just for the few people that do not know who you are would you mind telling us a little bit more about yourself? Yes sure I'm originally Syrian I moved to Dubai 10 years ago I'm an artist uh, art is my passion I, and I was enchanted by art uh, since my childhood. So Nada, how did your journey with art start? I've been in love with creating since I was so young but I didn't give art my full time before and then when I moved to Dubai I joined the art classes at Duck Tuck Art Center mm -hmm. and from that time it was so serious for me. Okay great and how many, how many years ago was that when you started at Duck Tuck? Uh, I started uh, before eight years. Wow. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> How would you describe your work? Uh, I'm in love with nature and uh, nature is part of me and I'm part of nature. So most of my work is about uh, seascape and landscape. Okay. So is that a theme that you, you, you feel also inspired yes, by to create? Yes, that's what around me. <laughs> yeah. In all my paintings. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so what mediums do you prefer to use and why? I like to use oil paints and uh, acrylic paints. Of course, different kinds of palette knives and uh, different kinds of painting brushes as well. Um, I Personally, I prefer oil paints because it gives like strong colors for the painting. Mm -hmm. It gives depth. It gives uh, strong uh, imagination. Yes. And uh, this is what I prefer to do with the oil paint. And now I'm working on a new method with the charcoal. Oh, that should be interesting. I'm yeah. really looking forward to see that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, because these, these pieces, you can also see it's very vibrant. You know, there's lots of colors. Amazing how you play with the colors. It just kind of bring, comes to life when you you've add all these colors. That's True. really, True. really that's magnificent. That's why I work on colors a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, and to mix great. the colors together to bring uh, the result I want. Exactly. I never ever put the color as it is. Okay. Wow. So that so you always just mix and play yeah, around. Yeah. And... So what inspires you as an artist? What inspires me as an artist to be able to create something and to be able to share that with other people as well. Um, I'm in love with creating since I was so young. And uh, you know, everything flows once I hold the painting brush and I start painting, I forget the world around me, the whole world. Because I only think about the painting and what colors I'm going to use and which colors I'm going to mix to have the right result I want. Okay, so do you, do you have a reference image that you work from or do you... Yes. Yes, sometimes. I do. Sometimes, okay. sometimes I mix between reality and imagination. Okay. But of course, I have the picture, and I add some imagination from myself to the painting. So, where is your favorite place to create your masterpieces? Uh, it's my garden. <laughs> but you know, because we are living here, and it's, uh, most of the time it's too hot, so I can't sit outside. Okay. So I paint most of the time inside. But of course, I prefer to sit between the flowers and trees. That's true. Yes, it's very nice inspiration. Yeah. So wow. now I'm very, very happy because I'm working outside the whole time. Yeah, because now the weather is amazing, it's amazing. To, exactly. to work outside. Exactly. And do you find, because I, I found when I was working outside a lot, um, there's always bugs going and sitting on my painting yes, or you true, know especially true. sometimes with the but sand. But there is a specific time you can go out and uh, like it's very nice weather and you don't find like uh, many bugs there. Okay. It's I think from two to five it's the best time. Oh so that's the peak time to yeah. go and paint outside. Yes. I'll definitely have to try yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing but you have to be careful because oil paints um, because of the wind outside so Usually the painting takes time to dry, but there, because you are outside, it dries so quickly. Okay. So you have to take care about uh, this thing. Yeah, well, well, that's a good tip, if, yeah. especially people that like to paint with oil. Yes. You know, yeah. so rather paint yes. outside, yes, outside exactly. if you want it to yes. dry faster. Yes. So other than being an artist, what other jobs have you done in the past? Well, I don't consider art as a job. 
art is my passion. <laughs> and uh, if we want to do, like, if we want to talk about other jobs, I was a teacher before a uh, long time ago. Okay. Yeah, but art is not a job. Is that, that is that is who you are, that's your exactly. passion, that exactly. you are fortunate yeah, to do exactly. every That's what I said day. before, art is my passion. Yeah. And it will never ever be a job. Wow. Yeah, and I think, you know, for um, for some artists, once you, you come to that point where you just enjoy it, you know, like for me, obviously art is what I do that is that is like you know my profession <laughs> but um, it doesn't feel like it like no. you know you wake up and you are creating these amazing pieces and True. you feel so energized and it's, I never have a feeling where I feel like oh do I really have to paint again today yeah, like cool. never yeah. it's like you wake up and you can't wait to pick up the yeah, brush exactly. and, and start, start painting exactly ah, cool exactly. so how many years were you a teacher for uh, I was a teacher for like eight years. A well, um, not a well-known fact that you were a teacher, so <laughs> <Yeah>. that's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something interesting. Thank you. So Nada, you've had a very busy few months, the last oh. few months. Would you mind sharing a, a bit uh, more on all the events that you took part of and still taking part of? Yes, sure. Um, I exhibited some of my artworks at Edex uh, 2017 in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I exhibited also some of my artworks at uh, the Hotel Show World Trade Center mm -hmm. and uh, I exhibited some of my artworks as well uh, in Antique Museum uh, for the occasion of the UAE National Day um, for the exhibition it was under um, In Love with UAE mm -hmm. and now also I'm participating in World Art Dubai 2018 and I'm participating as well in Index 2018 and there are other events I'm participating in as well. Wow, so a lot of canvases <laughs> that still needs to be done. Yes, um, true. I'm working on them already now. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, looking forward to seeing you at World Art Dubai. We'll be <laughs> exhibiting you. as Thank well. You. Yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, I think it's a great opportunity for a lot of artists, yeah. not only local artists in UAE, but there's artists from all over the world, the world. Exactly. That, will, exactly. that will come. Yes. And yes. yeah, it's yes. just such a great opportunity and sure. I can't wait to see all the new and exciting pieces you've got you've Thank got you for so that much. as well. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else that we can expect from you in the near future? Before what uh, people they expect from me I challenge myself the whole time to work on improving my skills and to work on uh, painting better quality of paintings, better techniques, better depth and I always try to improve myself, always, for mixing the colors or for the depth or for techniques, for everything. I want later on, once people look at the painting, all the time they have the same expectation. Okay. Not yeah. less. Always better. Always they see improvements in the paintings. Yeah, that's a very interesting fact because once you also look at some of your artwork yeah. and um, that's something I've noticed with myself as well, like pieces that I probably created, you know, say five or six years ago and how your style change and yeah. you know it kind of because the artwork is so much part of you so as you grow and as you develop and you know as your skills grow obviously your art grows too Definitely. so it's Definitely. it's really for me it's very interesting to always look back yep. like where you come from yep. and mm. you know as techniques true. started how it's developed true yeah. very true and uh, the most important thing for me I like to improve, always. I really I appreciate when people they say, oh, your paintings are amazing, they are out of this world. Of course, I know they are saying that because they are nice, but also, I don't want their words to stop me to work harder yeah. and to improve my skills more and more. Yeah, that's true, because you want to remain yes. those yes. Um, you exactly. know, comments, those remarks, exactly. you want them to keep that. So do you have any advice for young artists starting out? It's simple advice, but I think it helps a lot if they follow it, like uh, be positive, work hard and smart, not only hard, mm. hard and smart, enjoy what you are doing, and this is also very important. Yeah, definitely. And trust yourself. 
That's true. That's that's really some great advice. So Nada, thank you so much for being on the channel and for taking the time to show your beautiful art pieces to us. And as a little thank you, I would like to give to you some of my Nespresso earrings. So they're made of recycled Nespresso capsules. Wow. Guys, this is amazing, amazing, <laughs> really. It's very special and very unique. Thank you. Because so it's much. designed by Mariska. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear. It's amazing. Thank I really you. love it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank so you. Thank you for having me today. You're most welcome. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and go and create something beautiful.